Well, I know that you're down, just feel. So this is the, the last uh, slide I have. And I, I, this morning, just tried to think like, you know, if I were trying to summarize uh, some advice, uh, distill down 25 years of, of helping uh, folks through this process and, uh, and going through it numerous times myself, what, what kinds of things would I, uh, would I say? And to me, uh, this first one, I think, is really, really important, and that is that, that it's going to be the people that make your building um, or your permaculture property or your, you know, whatever it happens to be. Um, it, it's, you know, a common, a common um, thing for people coming to us at Endeavor is that right away, everything they're thinking about is what kind of materials am I going to use and what kind of systems am I going to employ, and that's the focus and you know you can decide you're going to build a house with straw bales but a truck full of straw bales don't do anything they just sit in the truck until there's uh some people who will you know take those and 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 help you build a house out of them um, and so it's really important that that you find the right people and i would say to me i would value the right person over the material that I feel most closely aligned with. So I'll stick with straw as an example. You know, straw bale is a could be a great material. It could meet your criteria matrix perfectly. But if you don't live anywhere near anybody who builds with straw and you don't want to undertake that by yourself and you're considering either hiring somebody, you know, locally with no experience who's like, you know, maybe not on board with it or bringing somebody in from far to do it um, you know i would recommend that that you find good local people over um, over choosing a, a particular material or system because those people um, are the ones that are are going to um, be there for you uh, during the time they're going to be there to support their work afterwards um, they're going to be there for troubleshooting they're going to be there you know hopefully you know, when things need uh, work or repairs decades down the road. Um, and so, you know, really, I, I would value the, the people. Um, and I guess that sort of goes, I'll jump uh, one here to relationships are at the heart of these kinds of projects. I think those two things are actually saying more or less the same thing that, you know, it, it's the, the way that you're able to connect with people and the people that you're able to connect with that that are going to make uh, a successful project and so you know really developing uh, those networks those relationships uh, treating people well all of that kind of stuff um, i can't stress more strongly how how critical i think that is to to things working out um, the second one down um, with my apologies uh to um uh the uh, P2C2E from, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the book now, that great kid's book, uh, Process is Too Complicated to Explain. Uh, this is the too good to be true. And the, the green building world is full of uh, too good to be trues where you know the, the latest and greatest building product or solar panel or battery technology or whatever it happens to be, uh, gardening fertilizer, it like, you know, it, it saves the planet, it reverses climate change, it makes you healthier, it makes you happier, it's, you know, uh, half the cost of its competitors, you know, when, when things are too good to be true, they really are uh, too good to be true. Um, every single material, every single system has a set of pros that are really good, you know, if you, if you can, if people are telling you the truth, the good things are good, but there will always be cons. Um, I, have, I have yet to find the uh, silver bullet of either a single material or an overall approach where, where it's not a balance of like, yep, here's all the great stuff. And you know, here's the things that aren't so great, but we're gonna, we've decided to live with these because the pros outweigh those cons. And you know, the other things we compared it to, you know, we prefer its pros to their cons. Um, but it's always that trade-off, and 
as you're talking to people, whether it's like the people you're going to hire or the people supplying you materials or the people giving you advice, you know, if they're not telling you what the cons are, don't, you know, I would not be very trustful of somebody like that. If somebody tells me honestly, this is the good stuff about what I'm talking to you about, and these are the drawbacks, then I, then I would engage and say, okay, you know, let's have a conversation and, and I'll kind of understand, you know, what you're telling me are the pros and what you're telling me are the cons. But if, if, if somebody's honestly telling you there are no cons, they are <laughs> conning you. Um, the next one is, is committing to your goals, whether you use the things that are on that criteria matrix I showed you, or whether you have your whole own set of goals. Um, you know, if you're, if you commit to them, don't let people talk you out of them. Um, unless it's, unless, you know, they actually really change your mind. Like, unless you honestly think, oh, I might've been wrong about that. You know, I, I should change, uh, my opinion or, or my take on this, but um, we see an awful lot of people who get steamrollered out of doing what they want to do by their architect, by their building official, by their mom, by their, you know, uncle, by the guy at the Home Depot desk, like all of these people have opinions uh, about what you're doing and, and, uh, and uh, you have to be really certain so that, so that, you know, you don't just um, kind of get bowled over by, by all the, uh, the opinions and advice you're going to get. Uh, the next one is that it will cost you more than you think. Uh, you can be the world's greatest budgeter, or you can be a fly by the seat of the pantser. Either way, um, the, the, your best laid plans, your best budget estimates are going to be wrong. It is going to cost more. And so um, start by acknowledging that. You know, If you have $300,000 to spend, don't plan a $300,000 project. Uh, plan a $200,000 project and then it will cost $300,000 and then you'll be okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, just really, you know, understand, you know, the, the capital that you have available and, and don't, don't overtax it because, um, you know, it, it's very rare, uh, especially with, with owner builders that, that the projects don't, don't go over budget. Um, getting diverted by things that aren't so important. As you start to build a house, you know, there's literally, you know, thousands of decisions and, and you can get very sidetracked by, you know, what kind of knobs are going to go on the kitchen countertops or, you know, what kind of, you know, there are just all of those kinds of things. And, you know, in the end, you know, if it's not something that, that you uh, are, are, that's part of your main focus, I mean, obviously you make the decision, but if you, if you sort of agonize over all of them, um, an awful lot of them don't really matter in the end. Uh, the next one is that the, your favorite things uh, about the project are likely to be the, the things that you didn't anticipate, um, whether it's, um, you know, uh, a, a pigment color that, that turns out not what you thought, but you really like it, or um, a, a design decision, or, you know, you made this really great front porch and a little tiny back porch, but you actually much prefer sitting out on the back porch. Like there's, you know, it's very hard to know uh, what you're really going to, to like in the end. And so, you know, being open to those kind of surprises. Uh, there's too much for anybody to know. And, you know, I've been at this 25 years and I'm learning stuff all the time. And I know more than anybody should know about this, but I don't know you know, it all or enough in a lot of cases. Um, so it's good to, to know what you can, but I think, you know, you really do need uh, other people to, to help you with this stuff. Um, you know, you can't learn everything about renewable energy that a really good renewable energy designer knows. You can't know everything about rainwater that a really good rainwater uh, installer knows. You know, all of those things these are every one of these is something that, that people will spend their whole lives getting really good at. Um, and so if you can find again, those people that you trust, then, you know, trust them to know uh, how to, how to guide you through that. 